If you were gay in those days, you were diagnosed as suffering from a mental disorder. Like so many people in my generation, I went to psychoanalysis to be cured. These are some of the methods doctors employ to cure homosexuality. Electroshock therapy, hysterectomies on lesbians, castrations of gay men. People use psychiatry as a reason to discriminate. Apart from the discrimination against us, it gave us a horrible image of ourselves. In the early 1970s, there was this growing rebellion against psychiatry, and we wanted to remove homosexuality from the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. The body of knowledge which claims sickness for homosexuality has to be challenged. We could not expect our civil rights as long as we were burdened with the sickness label. Maybe it makes you feel good to be able to say that we are sick. Does it make you feel good? No, it's the body of medical evidence suggests well, it that it is a mental operation. There were so many of us that were at the same point. Enough is enough. We're not going to take it anymore. Period. A number of psychiatrists talked about why don't we organize we can make an impact. John Fryer took a step as being the first psychiatrist to say, I'm a gay person. But no one recognized him. He represented all the people who were hiding and invisible. The effect was electric. At psychiatric annual meetings, there were demonstrations, if not in fact riots. Ron Gold, a gay activist, he got up there and he yelled out, Stop, Stop it, you're, you're making, making me sick. I told them in my speech, you don't have the right to decide that perfectly happy people are sick. This fight was the most important moment in gay liberation history.